take for this welterweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Walter White Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Brussels, Belgium, presenting the challenger, Magic Man. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to three. To throw at the exact right moment. He deserves the win. We'll finish this fight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. And he that comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Ball straight right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just over three minutes to go round one. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Counter left. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. And they separate. Oh, big left hook there. Miss with that jab attempt there. Get those combinations. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Two minutes remain in the round. Takedown defense holds up. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Lee gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Lee. 
big kick lands. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Stop waiting. Get that high kick up there. Good work. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Real quick leg kick. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, huge kick to the body. Oh, straight right. Head kick there, blocked by Lee. Run him down. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at two minutes, 23 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance in